Hi Virgo. Welcome to your June 2019 astrology and tower reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're a regular and if you're new, welcome to the channel. Um, Virgo, I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for all your support and your messages, your subscriptions, your likes, your comments to the channel, um, especially if you are a regular here. Um, I just wanted to let you know how grateful I am for all of you because I don't think I mention it enough and recently there's been a lot of changes in my day-to-day -day life which is why some of the readings have been quite late um, and it made me appreciate this side of my life a lot more so I just wanted to thank you guys for being a big part of it because as I said to everyone else if you weren't um, it would kind of just be me talking to me <laughs> so on that note Virgo I'm not going to say very much because I know that you're kind of tired of what people are saying in general. Gemini season can be a little bit irritating. The communication style between Virgo and Gemini is incredibly different. Um, I believe Linda Goodman, who was a very wonderful, very wonderful astrologer, said that she felt Virgo's true ruler was the planet Vulcan. Um, but for now, we're going to talk about the Mercury aspect because Gemini, of course, is also a sign of mercury now what this is doing to you virgo is it's forming a square so we know square energy has been quite intense and i do feel like it's what people are saying more than anything else is bothering you and you feel kind of penned in more than ever before with the same people and the same environment and the same conversations and you kind of just want to break free you're a service sign, this we know. You're constantly serving people with the Six of Pentacles and you're wondering when the favour is going to be returned. Are you letting it be returned? Give and take is an equal an equal thing. You know, you need both people to participate but that card often suggests that one person has more than the other and the problem with being a Virgo is that you're, you're kind of good at everything and if not everything you're good at a lot of things so you're kind of the person that people go to when they need help and you're tired of that at the moment because you do too much you're feeling a sense of carefree desire you want to be the fool you want to go forth into a new journey into a new environment into a new saga of your life but with Saturn and Pluto retrograde in that very area, you're feeling really very pinned in. You just kind of want to expand, break free, and you're waiting with the Seven of Pentacles. You're waiting to see when that happens, if it's going to happen. The Sagittarian full moon in June is going to be very telling and very transformative. High Priestess. The dark and the light. Very Gemini. It's actually a Pisces card. Um, but Pisces has that duality. Pisces being, of course, your um, partnership sign, your opposite sign, Neptune. Pisces ruler is going retrograde in the sign of Pisces at the end of the month, 21st of June, spring equinox. So what does that mean? You'll be very confused of the messages you receive at this time. We go from the bluntness of a Sagittarius full moon to the confusion of a Neptune retrograde in your partnership sector. It's time to drudge out some of the old stuff. And of course, that's not an all-consuming process, but you may realise, Virgo, that you have had some sort of misconceptions about your partnerships, the way that you've reacted to, even the type of people you've been going for. Have you been looking for people who give you validation on an external level? They're attractive, so you feel that makes you look better. They're well off, so that makes you feel like you look better. Are you looking for this star-like quality or are you comparing yourself to star-like people? Nine of Pentacles in the helpful position. The devil is in the challenge. The outcome is the emperor. That's a lot of majors. As we progress into cancer season, which has an array of eclipse energy, you're going to notice what truly shackles you and the death card will set you free. So Virgo. Do you feel the need to be needed or do you feel the need to be in control? 
think about it with whatever situation you have at the top of your mind that's confusing you. What is the problem? Do you feel like you're not getting your own needs met? Do you feel like you're not helping enough? Do you feel like you're not good enough? Or do you simply feel like you're not in control? The emperor wants to be in control. And you know, the emperor, though in a sitting position, he is very, very, very free in that he is the emperor of an empire. He's the very, very top. So what that means is he has the freedom of decision. And he's also financially very comfortable. There's great times financially for you here with the nine of pentacles. That Libra full moon, This well, the two Libra full moons back in March time and April probably made you very aware of your spending and of your financial situation. So you thought you'd work a little bit harder, save a little bit more. And here we are. You're once again thinking about money. But your ideas are good. Whatever they are, your ideas are good. You're thinking a lot bigger than usual. You're also feeling a lot more polished in your approach. You're becoming aware of your own wisdom and you're not so shy in putting it forward because Gemini season and that Sagittarian full moon is going to make you blunt. The Three of Swords with the Emperor and the Ace of Wands. From great pain and confusion and misunderstandings, a new energy is born. One that provides you with passion and one that provides you with a new beginning. So, Virgo. If you've been breaking your heart over somebody who held all the cards for far too long, you're finally getting over it. Particularly if it was an Aries. The devil energy is you. It could of course be a Capricorn, but I'm thinking it's you. You've become shackled by some sort of standard. Virgos are very into their standards, but the problem is sometimes... If your standards are too high for yourself, you can actually go very, very, very low, which is odd. But if you notice the typical Virgo attributes of, you know, neat freak, how many Virgos do you actually know with that? Or are you one yourself? I've never met an entirely neat Virgo, but they're neat in different ways. You know, you might have a very chaotic um, looking room, but it's actually organized. So amidst the chaos of your own thoughts, we are finding some form of organization. And within it, we also find this power. With the Three of Swords and the Emperor, a power struggle is finally over. And you know what you want. You know where you stand. The Death card, again, with the Ace of Pentacles, is bringing about a new opportunity. If you let something go, it's time to let something go. It's time to drop it. It's time to begin again. It's time to figure out what the next move is. And if you don't know what you're going to do about this person or this job, or if you don't know that you can do anything, a part of it has to die off. You have to let something drop. When the emperor dies, there's a well, there's typically, as I believe, a successor already in place. You're not going to leave anything unless you're prepared for the next, right? You know, unless you're prepared for the next saga. So if you're leaving a relationship, you're not going to leave until you're prepared mentally or financially. Or if you're leaving a job, again, you're not going to be prepared until you have something else that's better. That will serve you well. Be organized. Think worst case scenario for a little while and then find the solution. It's not as bad as you think. Whatever it is that's changing is indeed preparing you for something that speaks a lot closer to your heart. Because whatever it is that you're in now or going through, there's a piercing feeling and a feeling of pain. And for most of you, I feel that it's either that you're dealing with somebody who's incredibly unhealthy behavior 
um, patterns in relationships, which is the devil, someone who's very controlling, someone who's very manipulative, um, could be drug or alcohol abuse. But for a lot of people, Virgo, I feel like the devil is you. It's your obsessive nature of what you should be and of what keeps you restricted. Because at the minute you want to break free, right? And you feel that breaking free will be very, very, very painful. It won't. It's like ripping off a band-aid when I see the Three of Swords and the Ace of Wands. It's like that initial pain and then, oh, it's new again. I'm going to draw a love card. When we go into the extended, we're going to go into each card individually. Because I'm curious to what this devil energy really is. It's about intimacy. Some Virgos may have intimacy issues stemming back from childhood that full moon in Sagittarius is in your sector of childhood perhaps repressed childhood memories are coming up with mercury being in cancer it's making us talk about that it's making us talk about our innermost feelings and the beautiful thing about the three of swords is that you're releasing we see the rain clouds because the emotions are coming out you were about to burst for a while and it's all coming out now. You're discovering something. The wonderful thing about the death card energy is that that Scorpio full moon, whatever was ripped away from you, has been set to heal you. If you would only release yourself from the feeling it's not meant to be working out this way. Ace of Wands is a beautiful new beginning. It always is. I've seen it. Oh, the beaver. That's so you. Working like a beaver. <laughs> How cute is the beaver though? I'm going to take this one. And the snake. Ah, you could have been dealing with a snake-like personality when I see the devil there, of course. The beaver likes to be busy. A busy beaver. You're very busy and you're starting to realise how you've been so busy because you've been distracting yourself from something you needed to pay attention to and you can't ignore it anymore. Let me see. Let's get the book definition of the beaver. Well, this describes Virgo to a T. Hard worker, loyal, tireless and family first so there is an emphasis on family here providing a home financial stability you are a provider for many um whatever you're starting in june or whatever you're you know beginning again in june it's going to be a long-term feeling if you're feeling out of balance at the moment you feel useless you feel worn out um to bring into balance you have to engage in that selfless service part of yourself because it is in your nature but at the same time Virgo I have to say I think you have to give a bit more time to yourself because you're you're gathering more control with Saturn and Pluto that heavy heavy energy in your sector of freedom is going to push you out to find your freedom to see where it is to see where it lies to see what liberates you as a person that's important it's very 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 important that you experience that because virgos can sometimes feel very trapped in their in their own service do you know what i mean you can feel very on a loop of the same thing and if you continue to give 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 and receive nothing back it can feel very draining again especially if you've been dealing with an Aries now the snake energy is all about our creative life force um what's at the base of your spine what's lying untapped and unawakened Use your potential something is stirring up from slumber With the Emperor energy, I feel you're becoming very, very empowered and you're becoming empowered through your pain. Whatever pain you feel in June is pushing you to break free into a new saga, into a new 
objective into a new project into a new relationship even you're breaking free of something that's not working for you and as I say it doesn't have to be anything you know typical you can be breaking free from a a thought pattern doesn't have to be a job although I feel like you have a conflict of leadership roles part of you wants to do it and part of you doesn't want the grief you should do it you should do it if you want to join me in the extended reading Virgo when we go into the high priestess energy and see what Neptune has in store and the devil energy to see what's going on with your dark side please feel free to join me there but if not I will see you in the next set of readings Virgo take care bye